Hello everyone, I thought today we'd talk about uh, the Warsaw Pact masks and gas masks from the Soviet Union. So without any further ado, let's begin. First, I'm going to start off with Hungary, which I only have... I actually have two Hungarian masks. You might not be able to see the other one, but let's check it out. This is the first Hungarian mask. I bought this a few years back. It's in really good condition for what it is. So, uh, here's what it looks like, size 1, which, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but size 1 means large in uh, Hungary. There's a view of inside the mask. These masks, uh, what I've heard, are pretty good. But they're not the best things in the world. I mean, you've got all these... I mean, just look how complicated the head straps are. Because you've got all these bloody... You've got these buckles. You've got buckles everywhere. You've got... You've got this. Just... It's just so... It's just... It's a mess. Sorry, Hungry. It's a mess. Nothing on strapped here is starting to break off see what else we have on the big old fat uh, 40 millimeter ghost uh, filters um, um, this has some sort of replacement uh, caps I'm not sure if they've done replacement caps in uh, plastic I know they're done in uh, metal I don't know what that is on the inside, I don't know if that's paint or something. But you can hear. Charcoal. The activated charcoal. And then the asbestos layer is underneath. Asbestos. So, we know that these filters do contain asbestos. And it's pretty much recommended you don't breathe for any communist uh, filter. You know, cummy pinkos. <laughs> we have two other items. We have a filter sock. Yes, this is a filter sock. So you can put this around the filter. I'm not going to. And in this bloody great thing of tin foil is actually a um thing for the lenses. I can't think of what it's called. Anti-dimming thing. That's not what this is. But this is an anti-dimming thing. I can't think of what it would be called in a Hungary. So uh, yeah, that's the first one. The Hungarian, I can't think of what it's called now. I think it's like the M56 or something, I don't know. If anyone knows uh, Hungarian masks, please correct me if I'm wrong. The bag, I will admit, the bag on this, it's actually pretty cool. There's something else that is odd, is that the buttons are made in Fiocchi, Italy. So I don't know whether this is a, um, Hungary made the bags themselves and bought uh, buttons off of the Italians. Maybe they did, who knows. Take a look at another Hungarian mask, Soviet PMG. I say Soviet because uh, yeah, it's fairly recent. Which is 1991. So uh, just the fall of the Soviet Union. <laughs> Size four, which is bloody great, extra large. <laughs> of course, we all know uh, these masks from uh, Half Life Two, the uh, Metro Cop uh, mask. You would have a filter attached to the side right here. And of course on the Soviet ones, it's inside the uh, the threads on the inside are rubber. I'm not sure what this one is. It doesn't feel like rubber. Uh, perhaps maybe it is rubber, I'm not too sure. But these are very nice masks. <laughs> Of course, you have uh, dates and stuff. This one was this one has a stamp of March. Of 
and of course you have this for the um so in case if it's a bit loose you would have this hook right here what you do is you would go ahead and hook it there and just like so here is extra tight it's the same on the uh, other hungarian one now we'll take a look at a, a polish one move all these soviet ones out the way Polish, you might have seen this one before. And of course in this pocket there's probably absolutely nothing. Yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing in there. But you've seen this uh, mask before. You'd have uh, your name tag in there. This is a nice stamp. We have a hose in a soviet green so this is probably a soviet hose and it was lended on over to the poles uh, we have if i can find it a mask these are very familiar masks and these uh, have it looks like a gp5 it's not a gp5 Although, yes, it is a helmet style mask, but it has an extra thick intake outtake um, thing, so a bit like an SHM 41. If you know that one, except instead of being uh, green, it's, it's all made out of uh, zinc. I believe it's made out of zinc. It's a very good mask, it's a pretty cheap. I'm pretty sure anyone who is a big fan of the SHM41 definitely should buy one of these. Polish OM14. The OM14 is bloody good. And yes, you can get away with it being an um, SHM41. Uh, but someone might point out that you have uh, zinc instead of green. However, the filters, these filters are bloody big just take a look at this thing it's an EO14 filter there's your plug um, these remind me of the World War 2 British uh, respirators there's another stamp up there uh, there's another stamp 556 five, looks like some other stamps as well but they faded off there's another stamp. Uh, pretty much these are the exact same as like an EO16 filter if you've ever seen an EO16 filter. It's pretty much this but round and in a Soviet brown. I believe that's what it is. Soviet, Soviet brown. Yeah, EO14 filters are definitely known to contain asbestos. Uh, don't breathe through them. <laughs> this is the cap that they're always issued with. That's what the inside of the filter looks like. Not too bad. I'll go and seal that off. Let's check out the plug. So yes, this is literally called a filter plug. So it's it's on a piece of uh, string. And um, as you can see, it does that. So you have the filter system in the bottom of the bag you will have this uh, the plug just on a piece of string doing it's pl doing plug things <laughs> until you, you're ready to plug it up plug the filter up once again I'm just making sure that's all uh, sealed off perfect yeah, this is good just just making sure Okay, I mean, would I recommend buying one of these? Yeah, absolutely. You can find them pretty cheap. Or if you're interested in MUA, take a look. Now we have Soviet ones. Yay, Soviet Union. Take a look at the PDF. So the PDF is a children's mask. You probably might know these from their famous picture in Ukraine, in Chernobyl. 
his masks littering the floor. Here it is, PDF, grey hose, and it'll attach like that. And mine's a slightly different PDF. You'd have different versions of PDF. You would have one where the hose is in the center, kind of looking like an elephant. <laughs> and you have this one going off to the side. This one, it was made in the 80s, I believe. 85. Um, yeah, I have to. It's a pretty nice mask, and that's not the original Soviet green filter. It's a filter in here. That's just a modern day NATO one. <laughs> I just I just chucked it in there because uh, because yeah, I just decided to do that. We have probably some famous ones right here. You know these as the SHM. 41 or the SHM62, I think. That's the SHM41, this is the SHM62. I've always known as a GP5. Of course, these masks are very nice. Mine was made in 1984. As you can see, there is a difference between this and the OM14. It's a lot more shorter. Mine's a 2Y, so there is less rubber, so it makes it much more easier to put on and off. And of course, Soviet grey filter. I'll go ahead and move that one to the side. As we in here, there is in fact another one. So this is the let's see. It's the black one I I have. Yes, I have two of these. Why? Uh, because I just thought, uh, I might as well get a black one. Or one in black. There's all the original packaging as well. So there is a piece to cover over the intake outtake valve here. Soviet packaging and your filter is in here. Sounds like a potato <laughs> This one has recently had a wash as it was uh, coated in talcum powder. 87. This isn't going to fit me anymore. But I think it fit me as a size 1. Size 1 Y. So that's just great, isn't it? Yeah, I just made a video on my Soviet slash Warsaw Pax gas mask collection. Thanks for watching.